to, as we work our way out of this pandemic, challenging times for those that had, but for those that didn't have, it was even more challenging. Uh, so to be able to deliver gifts, you know, and resources to families uh, during this time, you, you see the change, right? You see the happiness, you see the appreciation. This is our second annual toy drive uh, that's been put on by Pack Renaissance Collaborative, uh, where we, we've been distributing toys uh, and gift bags to over 700 families uh, and about a thousand residents. My mother was a single mom. I was born into uh, public housing and grew up in, in low-income housing throughout my life. We were beneficiaries, not only of public subsidies, but there would be you know, the local church, the Boys and Girls Club, uh, where she would go. Uh, unbeknownst to us to get toys to place under the tree, you know, or we'll go to drives and there will be toys given to my brother and I. My mother was an advocate for service. Uh, she had my brother and I in soup kitchens, feeding the homeless throughout the holiday season. Why? Uh, because as you receive, you know, you should also give. And that's something that she instilled in my brother and I. Home is the foundation you know, of just everyday life, our, our desired outcome. You know, we kind of combat that stigma. We give families a place where they're proud to call home. And through that, you know, they begin to transform other areas of their lives. We figured having a, a toy drive um, to, to give away uh, a gifts to the residents was a way to show them or to demonstrate to them that we actually cared. There's no one gift per child. Let's give as many as we can. And those kids and their eyes brighten up and their smiles, you know, and the peace signs that they were throwing up uh, and the appreciation, it, it warmed, you know, warmed our hearts um, because they know like, hey, we care. And also to see, you know, kids and the young teenage kids see uh, people of color and women, you know, leading the charge, right? So they're representatives, that's even more important. Right, so they see that and they think to themselves, oh man, you know, maybe one day I can be in that position.